Hi there, welcome to Mel's March workout. So this month we're going to be focusing on some preparation for your marathon training. So I've again selected five exercises and this time they're going to be slightly higher intensity to work some of our bigger muscles and our core at a higher level to help you to prepare alongside your running training program. So for this workout, again I'd suggest that you wear trainers, you may need a mat and then also the purple leg uh, resistance band. So we're going to be starting off with a plank version and this is a little bit more demanding again for our core and also for our upper body. So we're going to do a plank which then goes into a press up and then goes into a side bend all combined together and then you're going to repeat this movement continually for a minute. So I'm going to demonstrate the movement to you. So again you're going to stand and we're going to come down into our plank position. So from the mat, we're going to place the hands slightly further forwards than the shoulders, toes tucked under, and we're going to come up into our plank position. So again, just check um, your good alignment. We're then going to do our press, walk the back hand to the middle, and we're going to turn for our side bend, back through the middle, hold the plank, we're then going to do a press up and then again walk towards the opposite direction and back through the middle. So we're just going to continue to repeat those movements going from side to side for your full minute. Our second exercise is going to be a different variation of plank where we're now going to work on our oblique tummy muscles a little bit more. So for this one we're going to be in our plank position and then we're going to be bringing the leg over towards the opposite rib. So again, I'll just show you what the movement looks like. So exactly the same start position in our plank position. And then we're going to draw the leg across and step behind. So again, bringing the knee over towards the opposite rib and back to the middle. And again, continue to repeat that for your full minute and then we're going to progress to our third exercise. So the third exercise, then we're going to be making use of our Pilates band. We're going to get those bottoms to work a little bit more. So this time we're going to stand on the band, and I usually get you just to cross the band over so it doesn't flick off through the feet. And again, we're going to soften the knees and make sure you're nice and tall through the rest of the body. So again, think about your knees and your hips pointing forwards. And we're going to do a little side step here. So we're going to step out into the band and back to the middle. So a little step, return. So we're going to complete 15 minutes, I mean 15 repetitions. I hope not 15 minutes, you'll definitely have a worked out bottom by then. So just 15 of those. And then we're going to go for our diagonal. So on the same leg that you just worked on, we're going backwards on that diagonal. So again, keeping the hips pointing forwards as you step. And I usually get that the supporting bottom works even harder than the stepping bottom. And then of course you would switch over and repeat it on the opposite side. So again, 15 out to the side, and 15 off on that opposite diagonal. So now that we've got those bottoms working, we're going to take that into a little bit more of an explosive movement. So these are the two um, which will bring up the heart rate a little bit more. We're going to be looking here at a jump squat and then also our burpees. So you would do your jump squats for 30 seconds and then your burpees for 30 seconds. So again, we'll just show you these two movements. So your jump squat first, we're going to jump up, land. So all the while, again, still keeping knees and hips and shoulders all facing forwards. And the same with the burpees. Um, but this time we're obviously going to jump the legs back as well. So we're going to jump up, come down, jump back, and up. So I'll show you a little bit quicker. Jump, and you repeat that ongoing for your 30 seconds. That takes us into our final exercise, which is our scooter in standing. So another one for our bottoms. So again here, we're going to bring the hips into our hip distance apart, fold a little bit forwards from the hips, and then from here, we're going to, keeping the trunk inclined, we're going to reach the leg behind 
and fold up towards your chest. So a little tap and reach. So all the while keeping the stationary knee over that second toe as we tap. So we're going to repeat that again 15 times. And if that's going well, we're then going to add in the balance challenge. So this time, we're going to reach up and not allow it to tap. So just to reach away without allowing your foot to touch the ground. And again, I generally find that I feel that more on the supporting bottom. Again, repeat on the, set, on the opposite side, and you've got your 15 of each of those movements. So good luck. I hope you do really well in the marathon, and I'll see you in April.